Hello everyone and welcome back to Winders Model Farms. Today I am here with the 164 Cat 420 XE backhoe loader. So this has recently come out and I'm pretty excited to get it because in 164 scale there's not many options when it comes to backhoes, it's especially not a modern backhoe. And this thing is made by Diecast Masters. So they've made quite a few cat implements in 1 to 64 scale recently. And I know they make a lot in some larger scales as well. And I think they do some in 1 to 87 also. So here's a look at the package. Um, and you can see back there, there's implements that come with this. But uh, Diecast Masters there. And on the back, we see some different stuff they offer. And we do have the... the um, Traco, the dozer, um, skid steer, and we just got that one. We still have not got the front end loader yet, so that is something we may get here in the future. A nice little picture there, and then um, some information on the bottom. So I'm going to get this thing out, and then we'll take a look at it. All right, so we got this thing out of the package here, and uh, we'll just kind of go through each individual implement here. Um, first of all, of course, what comes sitting on it we've got the bucket um, which is obviously your standard um, you'd expect that and the bucket on the front can be replaced with just an easy removal there and then um, we've got forks so you can just put that on there and it um, snaps in so now you've got your forks, and those look pretty good. They don't widen or anything like that. Um, they're fixed where they're at, but they do look very sharp on this thing. Um, next, on the front, we've got a, a broom, and you can see this thing does move, and it does not tilt side to side let me get that on there the broom looks pretty good um, if you need to sweep off an area so that looks pretty sharp I'm gonna go ahead put the bucket back on for us now on the rear um, we've got a uh, I guess standard size bucket um, and it is let's see how we get this off I think it just snap slides off but um, trying not to break anything I'm gonna figure that out later but I think um, it looks to be that it would just slide down um, but I'm having a little bit of trouble don't want to break it so I'm going to take a look at that in a minute so just messing around with this um, off camera I was able to unsnap that to remove the bucket and what I noticed though is if you unsnap it from there your bucket actually gets a lot more functionality so you can curl it up there kind of like what you would normally see them transporting like and then um, you can actually move your bucket as well um, and then you can just take this off and then put your different attachments on like. but the other thing that comes with it we've got like a jackhammer here so that is a pretty neat piece and then this here um, to be honest with you I'm not sure what it is but it looks to be some sort of a grinder got that spinning wheel there maybe like a stump grinder I'm not sure if you know what this is leave a comment um, down below and let us know what this is like I said it looks to be some sort of a grinder maybe a stump grinder but that also is for the rear so three different attachments on the front three on the rear um, so that is pretty good so now let's look at the actual backhoe itself um, we'll start off I guess here at the wheels the wheels look amazing. Um, they are painted and look really good. You can see details on the rims there. All the bolt detail, hub detail looks really sharp. The actual tires 
look fantastic, good tread on them. See the tread on there, both the front and the back. 1 to 64 scale mark down there. We do have some detail here on the bottom. You can see where the rear axle is, as well as on the front. Um, and then moving up, we've got pretty good detail here that's textured on that stepping area. Um, the uh, stabilizers back here, oh, well that fell off. Um, seems to just have snapped off. That just attaches and then, let's see, that clips in place so did not break, it just came undone. That snaps in there. And the hydraulic cylinder snaps in place, so no big deal. But those do raise and lower. They do not appear to lower any farther than that without wanting to, to pop off. So um, I will fix that in a minute. But anyways, they do raise and lower. Like I said, that's um, as far as it goes down. So I guess it does come into contact with the ground there um, when it is down. And you can see some paint detail on the bottom of it there. And then the, the back boom here, uh, we've got some nice warning decals. Good Caterpillar, well, good cat logo. Another warning decal here. Um, none of these hydraulic cylinders work but the boom does have a ton of movement. You can see here, can curl way underneath, um, come way up. The bucket does not pivot at all, but just these two arms move. Um, you can curl it pretty good, um, extend it back. So that's pretty good. Side to side on this is very good. Um, the cab looks like we've got pretty good detail in there. Good steering wheel. Seat looks nice, even a little cat decal on the seat. So that's a cool little detail. Uh, you can see your controls and everything in there. And that looks good. We've got our door here, more texture down here. Um, got you a little blue cap right there and a tank here. Fuel tank, I'm guessing. Uh, the roof looks pretty good. So there's the roof. Kind of cool, cool looking roof on this thing. Do get an exhaust. Nice cat decal on the hood there. Grill is pretty decent. Good texture with some detail. Uh, the front, front end loader here, the 420 XE. And then you've even got the detail of your safety. Um, stop so you put that down if you're working on it or something to keep it from falling and crushing you put that down on your hydraulic cylinder it can't close uh, both sides got a good decal there hydraulic cylinders look pretty good and good range of motion bucket dumps curls raises lowers so that looks really good um, and overall, really nice piece, just to kind of give you an idea here. Um, the only other 1 to 64 backup we have is this Deer, um, and it doesn't even have a model number. I don't know if it's like a 310 or something, what it's modeled off of. And it has very limited movement. Um, that's all the movement it has. The back, that's all it has. Um, and that's pretty much it on the rear all the movement it has so this cat has a whole lot more movement um, as far as looks the cat looks 10 times better um, this looks very toyish with all these rivets and things and cat did a good job of or diecast masters did a good job of making the rivets small and not noticeable and making everything look fantastic so it is a little higher detail piece um, 
it, it sat on the box recommended for ages eight and up. There is some pieces that would be easy to break um, and are pretty small, but I'm pretty excited to add this to our model farm. You can see here the deer one and this are about the same size. But yeah, it's going to be a good addition to the model farm. You'll probably see it around the display from time to time. And it's definitely something that uh, if you like construction equipment in 1-64 or you just want a nice um, addition for your model farm, this would be a good one. And the good thing about this is I think it, we got it for right around $20. So um, $20 may seem a little high, but any more for a tractor, uh, you're probably paying close to that. And with all the different attachments and this level of detail, um, I think it's a very good deal. So anyways, thanks for watching. Let me know if you're going to pick one of these up in the comments. Have a good night.